That starting lineup has passed his 30th birthday. And it's the youthful players on whom the club's future depends. Men like Sean Dennis, Colin Cameron, Stevie Crawford, and the youngest, and perhaps most promising of all, 19-year-old Jason Deere, who plays his 26th Premier Division match today, wide on the left side of midfield. And he'll be hoping to add to his five-goal tally for the season. In contrast, Rangers manager Walter Smith names 10 full internationals in that team. John Brown is the odd man out. And he's dealt with his embarrassment of riches in attack by leaving out Alexei Mikhalichenko and selecting Ali McCoy, Mark Haitley and Gordon Jury. The former Spurs striker has scored eight goals in 13 matches as a striker since his £1.2 million pound transfer. But he could operate this afternoon wide on the left side of midfield. And the referee this afternoon in his fifth season as a grade one official is Martin Clark from Edinburgh. The Starks Park pitch is in remarkably good condition. Very soft, it will cut up, I fancy, but in the context of all the matches off in Scotland today, it's a real credit to the ground staff that this match should take place in such good conditions. And a very important match for both sides. Rafe Rovers protecting an undefeated record against Rangers this season and trying very hard to generate points to fight out of that relegation area. Rangers, of course, trying to assert themselves further at the top of the table. So Rovers trying to get forward here. A quick turn inside the area. A good header away by Brown. Good work by Crawford. Still Crawford in the clear, this is a good chance for Wraith Rovers. And it's driven just wide by Colin Cameron. Well, a golden opportunity right at the start of the match, created here by Stevie Crawford's excellent work, coming in from the left, setting that up for Colin Cameron, and he'll feel he really should have hit the target from there. Good play by Cameron. There, making progress on the left, closed down rapidly by Gary Stevens. Trevor Stephen provides cover. Back it goes to Sinclair. Well, plenty of take in that finish from David Sinclair. Strong man in the great Rovers midfield. Well, good running here by Dare going inside the two English in the nice no. Tee this up for Sinclair. To pull that off target. Back now with Cameron. Good pass that to find there. The early cross delivered. And a fine effort by Graham. What an excellent sweeping attack from Wraith Rovers. From deep inside their own half. Superb play. A quality pass there to find Jason Dare from Colin Cameron. And that was aimed for Graham. And it was very close indeed. Heatherston was impeded there by Ferguson. Free kick to Wraith Rovers. Coyle takes the free kick. Looking for Graham. Coyle going up very early indeed. Certainly finding life uncomfortable against Graham. Sinkler plays it early for Crawford. And that's a great goal for Wraith Rovers. Scored by Stevie Crawford. And yet another splendid attack pays off. Ball played in quickly there by Sinclair. And just look at the way Crawford goes to this. Gorham is caught in no man's land. He's totally beaten by the little flick over the top. And Wraith Rovers are in front. 15 minutes of the first half gone. A dramatic opening. And little more than Wraith Rovers deserve for the quality of their attacking play. Back killer from Haitley. The boys couldn't take that on the run. That's Heatherston. And that remarkably is the first goal Ray Throbbers has scored in the month of February. Quality goal from a very impressive young striker. This is Gordon Judy. Well, that's good running. Jury. 
Referee Martin Clark, though, was ideally positioned. And it will be a yellow card, I'm sure, for Jury for the outburst following a decision not to give a penalty. Well, now, what a moment that was when Gordon Jury had possession outside the box with a lovely change of pace to go into the box, was driving into a gap well inside the area when he was brought down there by John McStay, and that looked to me to be a clear penalty kick. Dennis never away from Hayley. Stephen to Ferguson, this is Robertson. And once again, Sean Dennis is there to challenge Hayley. He's had a very good first quarter of the match, Sean Dennis, against Mark Hayley. More work to do here, though. Hayley trying to get to that. Strong play by Robertson. Just out of reach for Jury. A fine play again from defence by Ray Rovers. Here's Stevie Crawford coming in from the right. Linking with Cameron. It's fine play again. And very good defending by Gary Stevens. Getting in front of Ali Graham. That's McStay's cross. Person. Crawford, now Heatherston. Got the second chance. This time he finds there. Sinclair supporting inside. Flag is up for a throw. Sinclair knew they going over. Well, a view of the match without paying the entry money. And the house is overlooking Starks Park. They did well that time. Cleared though by Sinclair. Crawford did well to screen the ball from McPherson. He's away from the call. Has to be quick though with Robertson flying in. Well, young Crawford just changed pace there at the vital moment. That's what made that tackle look so bad. David Robertson will be spoken to. Indeed, he's going to be booked, I think. Well, that's a booking for the Rangers fullback. Well, I think it may be a shade unlucky there because it was superb play by Stevie Crawford to realise that Robertson was closing in and just changed the gear there to go away from the fullback. You see that here now. He's away from McCall initially. He seemed to be aware of He's looking up there to see Robertson coming. Then the change of pace got to the ball first and was caught late by Robertson. Booking for the Rangers defender. And the free kick to Ray Rovers taken here by Ronnie Coyle. Away by Brown, straight to Heatherston. Dennis releasing the ball early. Big stay over there on the far side. Graham attempting a little layoff to Cameron. That's left Ray Rovers exposed here. Look at the pace of Fergus with the ball at his feet. Assessing the options, using Judy coming in from the right. And a great save by Thompson. Superbly timed approach there on Gordon Judy. Great play by Rangers. Ian Ferguson inspiring that breakout. Judy coming inside, sidestepping Sean Dennis beautifully. But look how well Scott Thompson does there, spreading himself for the save. Trevor Stephen to Gary Stevens. McPherson to McCall. That's awkward. The keeper stays in his line. Leaves that to Dennis. Blocked by Robotham. The shot from Ferguson. Well, a good understanding there. Shown in defence. That ball high in the air inside the box. Scott Thompson stays in his line, realising that Sean Dennis would win these. Trevor Stephen lofting it across. Dennis again doing well. So did Coyle. This is Heatherston. Stevens intercepts. Ian Ferguson with a cross. Dave McPherson has stayed up. It reaches Hatley. And a brilliant save again by Thompson. That was hit with remarkable power by Hatley. 
and a fine save by Thompson. The ball across here. McPherson pulling defenders in, leaving this to Hately. Look at that. Thundered in and touched over the bar. Clever Stephen again. There goes Hately. Cleared off the line by Colin Cameron. Ian Ferguson. And he's closed down so rapidly there by Heatherston. Now it's Crawford against Robertson. And Robertson's quick enough. Well, what a match this is. Never a dull moment. And then he got him closed down by Deer. Well, the fitness and sharpness of these Leith Rovers players all across the field. Well, that towering header by Hately so close to the equaliser. The corner from the right. He won it superbly. Blocked on the line and thumped away in the end by Cameron. Dennis again with that commanding header. In goes McPherson, roll bottom, trying to play football from defence, put under pressure by McCoy. Free kick to Rangers. It reaches Hately. McPherson there, matched by Sinclair. That was Jury. Deflected to the top of the bar. It's a corner kick. Ray Throwers living dangerously here. Riding the luck to some extent in front of goal. But that volley on the hook by Jury deflected over the bar. Robertson, Hately, McCall. Good goalkeeping again by Thompson. Swept away in the end by Cameron. Everyone back except Stevie Crawford to defend for Ray Rovers. So hanging on grimly here. Six minutes remaining in the first half. Big pass and going for a run on the left. David Robertson, well won inside the area by Coyle, and relief to Ray's Rovers. As Ferguson sends the ball high and wide. Good play by Dave McPherson, then by David Robertson. Some good defending though, coming up here from Ronnie Coyle. And leading back there, Ferguson only made contact. Now Dea gets some help from Sinclair. Cameron turning neatly by the way from McCall and straight into Ferguson. No luck at all for young Cameron there. Here's Stephen. McCoy's just found space. Fine effort by McCoy. Controlled that volley superbly. Scott Thompson in just the right place. Another good attack from Rangers. They have not by any means played badly in this first half. Created a number of very good chances. with some splendid defending and good goalkeeping like that. Forward it goes for Heatherston. There's John Brown. Playing it up the line. Cameron. Which they are only able to hook the ball and play. The referee checks his watch as Brown plays it long. And Ray Throwers preserved. Precious lead. Right to half time. It was provided in 15 minutes by young Stevie Crawford, who's been an outstanding young striker this afternoon for Jimmy Nichols' team. Rangers have carved out a number of chances. They found Scott Thompson in great form. But the lingering memory of a splendid first half has been the refreshing style and play of Wraith Rovers. It's Wraith Rovers 1, Rangers 0. The last Wraith Rovers victory in the Premier League was more than two months ago on the 18th of December at Tyne Castle against Hearts. And they had played three matches in February before today without managing to score a goal. So they've broken that hoodoo in this match. Rangers, on the other hand, are ten games without defeat. The last loss was against Dundee United at home on the 11th of December when they lost by three goals to nil. 
So all the form pointers suggesting it should be a Rangers victory, but Wraith Rovers have made all those profits stink again by a stirring first half performance, both up front and in defence. Just make no mistake about it, Rangers did not play badly in that first half. Created a number of chances, there was good defending and good goalkeeping. While at the same time they had to be diligent against a very good Wraith Rovers attack. There's Ali McCoy, a hate play, finding Jury. Robertson goes sprinting forward. Jury's cross is a good one, here's Trevor Stephen, that's great control and good goalkeeping. Scott Thompson starting the second half, the way he played in the first. So Jury doing very well here with a right foot cross of real depth and quality. But just look at the chest control here of Trevor Stephen. That was brilliant. And the handling of Thompson secure. Here's Trevor Stephen again. Turning and twisting away from David Sinclair. And a very important header there by Sean Dennis. He's in a tying match at the back for Wraith Rover. That was yet another good clearing header. Another fine ball played in here by Trevor Stephen. You'll see that Hately was coming in on that until Dennis leapt to clear. Stephen playing it along again. Thompson's committee this time. Retrieved by Jury. Showed a lot of that to Coyle, losing out to Ferguson in the challenge. A break on here though, here's Cropper. Robertson slipped and a chance for Wraith Rovers again. Colin Cameron is coming in on the far side, but Crawford has to go himself. Corner kick's been given. Gorham protesting he didn't get a touch. Well, you can see the message plainly from the goalkeeper, but the Leesman thought differently. Jim Herald from Newton Barnes on the far side. Unlucky there for David Robertson, without Crawford was on his own. Colin Cameron was too remote. Crawford knew he had to go himself. Hit that strongly with his left foot. Well, I wonder if Gora may have had a case there. Headed by Graham. Here's Judy. McCoist. Robertson. Robot on the covering player. Very intelligent defending that. Well, Dennis playing that into an area where normally would have expected to find Jason there. Well, the activity on the Rangers bench already. Walter Smith has appeared from the stand. He's down there on track side. As Rangers come forward again. There's Jury. Now McCoyst. Trying to get the better of Coyle, who's very determined indeed. So a corner kick to Rangers and an indication that all is not well in the Rangers camp. Walter Smith's down very early in the second half, contemplating adjustments. Sinclair supporting from that defensive role away in the left. Heatherston to Sinclair. Good running by Cameron. Here's Crawford. He's onside. Scrambled off the line there by John Brown. So close to the second goal. Fine, patient play again by Wraith Rovers. McPherson wins the header. Here's Heatherston. Now Robotham. Just there. Well tackled by Stevens. Judy's down on the right. McCall tries to find him with a return pass. Well, great play this. Sinclair playing it in. Cameron dragged the ball away from Brown initially, but he made up a lot of ground. As Gordon parried that, John Brown carefully nudging the ball away to safety. Taking out Stephen. Which is Robertson. Heatherston did well to match that run. Chance on here for Ferguson! The defensive lapse was all that was required.